Hello humans, it's me Sese and I'm back and I'm blind as fuck. Welcome back! So yes, I am doing this half blind because I am not wearing contact lenses and I'm too lazy to wear one and my eyeglasses don't really fit the team. So I'm gonna do this half blind. So I've been meaning to do this uh, way before but I haven't really gotten to do it. I don't know. I don't know why. But at least now, hey, I am here, I'm doing it now, so yeah, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Why am I doing this? So basically, today I'll be showcasing my horn collection. Yes, you heard it right, I have a horn collection, actually they're headdresses that, you know, designed as horns in different horn styles. Um, I started this when I started collecting this when I decided to do my Persephone or Persephone uh, conceptual shoot. I decided to make a conceptual shoot out of Persephone, wife of Hades, goddess of vest, hallelujah. And I base it on four seasons, so I have a collection of it. So, but I have also another character who has horns and from then on I became kind of, you know, I became kind of obsessed with uh, conceptual shoots with characters that has horns in them. So I'll be showcasing them to you guys, um, then I will show photos of me wearing them. So first up. Let's go to the horn that is not in the Persephone series. Um, this uh, horns, um, I had them made by uh, May of Meal Frilly. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but these are the horns. They are ram horns, so they're worn like this. Right? So I'm the one who actually added uh, the feathers. And uh, this blingy thingy here, I'm the one who added it, but the rest is made by me. They're very light and they have clips here so that you can clip them on your hair or wig. And this ram horn was used for an original concept of mine. I did this kind of bringer of death character. Her name is Lurka and she is from the series Lost Souls. So it's a conceptual series of mine. So I'll be showing photos of me wearing those horns now. to the horns that I use for my Persephone series. Let's start first with summer since it's the dry season slash summer here in the Philippines and it's freaking hot! But I'm wearing black. Hey, doesn't really matter because most of my clothes are colored black anyway, so I don't really have a choice. Well, actually I do, I just like black a lot. But moving forward, so this is the horns that I use for the summer theme of Persephone. Um, so it's worn like this. Yeah. Um, this is quite heavy. I think this is the heaviest horns or headdress that I have for Persephone. Um, so uh, they they have clips also underneath. I lost one, unfortunately but they're very easy to replace. And these are also made by Millie Frilly, so I asked her to make the base and I added the flowers and the other thingamajig that you see on it. So here are the photos of me wearing the horns.
Okay, so let's go to spring. So this one, as you can see, here. Um, again, made by Mill Frilly. So this is really, really pretty. Actually, she put butterflies in them, but I decided not to have the butterflies. So I took them off and added them like props to my costume. So they have clips underneath also. Okay, and they're worn. Uh, sorry, can't fit the screen, but it's worn like this. And um, I really love the flowers that she chose for this. Um, it's really, really pretty, very spring, and I'm actually planning to do a uh, spring-inspired uh, makeup feature of Persephonea. Actually, I am recreating my Persephonea series again using the same horns, except for Autumn, because I feel like she needs a better horn for Autumn, so I'm going to change that. So yeah, but this is for spring, and uh, here are the photos. for another character. Actually, these horns were the very first pair of horns I had. They're made by Mimi Monster, but when I had her made, this horn is for a character from Vocaloid, and I and that character has a, a, you know this type of horn, so I had her made it. So, so insert picture here. Yes, that is the cosplay that I did. Uh, I think this is Magan. This is Magani Rin from Vocaloid, a, a version of Kagami Rin. So, for uh, so, I then transformed this into Persephone's horns when I was conceptualizing for the autumn version. Actually, the autumn version was the first first version of Persephone for my Persephone series, and I added um, gems here. Actually, they have red roses. Also, I stick red roses, but they're now gone. I took them out because I. Why did I? take them out again? I forgot, but I took them out for a reason and I totally forgot what the reason already. But yeah, so I'm planning to change the horns for my Autumn series of Persephone in my reverse version, uh, revised version? Reverse what? Revised version. So if you have any suggestions what type of horns I can use for that, for that, for the Autumn version, please let me know. So here are the photos of me wearing this horns with, you know, the flowers on it. Last but not the least is winter. So this is made by Millie Frilly and I'm really happy with this. It's a really light word like that. Very queenly in my opinion. Very queenly with the white flowers and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping to add um, snowflakes here in my revised version of Persephone. But the flowers will stay of course, you know. Doesn't mean it winter doesn't mean she can have flowers on her head. Get what I mean? But yeah, so this is the last horn that I have. So since I'm going to do a revised version of my Persephone series, I'll be having more horns and I'll be having other characters with horns too. So watch out for those. Uh, but it will take some time since uh, we're in a quarantine here in Metro Manila. And we just can't go out just like that. Social gatherings are canceled. So, so that means shoots are canceled. Blah, 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 blah. So it will take some time before I do another showcase of, you know, of the additional in my horn collection. But yeah, this is winter. And here are the photos. So that's it. 
I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope you're all trying your best to entertain yourself in this trying times. God knows we all need a form of entertainment and to at least distract us from the stress of this quarantine life we're all experiencing. So I hope you guys are doing well. Always stay safe. Try to stay at home as you can so that we can flatten the curve and I will see you definitely next time. Bye bye! Mwah. And how you make me smile, and how you make me smile, oh yeah. And how you make me smile, oh baby, how you make me smile.